fight, fight, tigers fight, lead us to victory to you. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on what I wish I knew before I came to Towson. So I go to Towson University, as you can guess. I am a senior, let's play a game, like take a shot every time I say that in a video. You be dead. I'm an English major on the writing track. And I've been here for five years, so I like to think I know a thing or two about Towson. I've experienced it in a lot of different ways. I'm going to be doing my video on the top things I wish I knew before I came to Towson. So my very first point is something a lot of schools advertise and it's actually a really big cliche, but it's true at Towson. And that's that it's a big school with a small school feel. So I don't know the exact number of students that Towson has, and I'll put it somewhere on the screen. I think it's like 20,000 something, I don't know. Um, but we're pretty decently large. We're the second largest school in Maryland behind University of Maryland. And that's something that I really, really enjoy is that it feels like a small school. And what I mean by that is your professors will know your name. You will make friends. You are likely to see those friends when you're just like walking across campus or hanging out in a dining hall. You make those personalized connections. And our class size is like 30-ish on average. Definitely bigger for some majors, smaller for others. And the reason I like this so much is because you get all the benefits of being in a big school, like the large campus, lots of different opportunities, recreational activities, um, research opportunities, all those kinds of things. But you don't feel like you're lost in the shuffle. You have the great opportunity to get to know your professors. I actually have one of my professors' phone numbers because I went with her to a research conference. And that's not something I'd be able to do if my classes were 300 people. Um, but with classes of, of 15, that's that's great. I was able to make that connection. <laughs> now, I love Towson. I've really grown to love Towson. But I think another important thing to know and something that I wish I had known is that it's actually not a lot of people's first choice. I think I was definitely, at least out of the people I know, um, in the minority of it being the school I genuinely really wanted to go to. Um, it's very, it's a very cheap state school, which is the biggest appeal factor to people that come from Maryland. But because it's not a lot of people's first choice, we are kind of lacking in the school spirit zone and our athletics are not, um, they're not as great as some other schools. <laughs> So there's definitely some like tailgating and, and presence at athletic games has definitely increased in the past few years. When I started at Towson, we didn't even have tailgates. That's just the thing that's been brought back in the last like two or three years. Now, if you're like really into sports, we absolutely have some, some teams that you can go and support. We have football, we have basketball, baseball, lacrosse, all of that stuff. Like we have teams. Um, and like people do go to the games, but it's not gonna be the same experience you get at like University of Maryland or um, like a big state school like Georgia or like Penn State or something like that. Not gonna be the same experience. So don't come in your freshman year expecting to like get all dressed up to go to our football games and go to like all day tailgates or anything like that. That's just not our style so much. And that is okay. That's fine. I actually like it because there's not really pressure to do any of that kind of stuff. Another thing I had known about Towson is that the four-year graduation rate is really low. It's around 50%. Um, I couldn't find any like very recent statistics, but I'll put a link to um, one from a few years ago in the description. And that's, that's pretty low. That 50 is only half of your undergraduate students graduating in four years. Um, I, I did not graduate, I'm not graduating in four years. My fiance didn't graduate in four years. My sister didn't. All Towson people. Um, so that's like a double-edged sword because on the one hand, it's very likely that you'll end up in that boat. 
of staying longer than four years. But on the other hand, if you do stay longer than four years, there is no judgment. Absolutely none. Nobody cares. People are like itching to get out just for their own sanity of being in school that long. And in my case, paying that many loans. Um, so it's definitely possible. My best friend graduated in four years um, while she was in the honors college. So like, it's definitely possible. You just have to make sure that you're planning your classes very meticulously. You're taking the recommended amount of courses for your major every semester and you're not like fooling around at all. A lot of people that do stay longer than four years, it's because they changed their major or their track within their major or they failed some classes, stuff like that. Um, which is fine, that's totally fine. So it's definitely a double-edged sword. Um, take that one as you will, whether it's a pro or a con for you. So my fourth thing I wish I knew before I came to Towson is that there are actually a lot of free events for students. Now these can be put on by the SGA, Greek Life, um, or CAB, the Campus Activities Board. They host a lot of events. And it's anything from Labor Day weekend where there's a whole weekend of events over Labor Day weekend. Um, they have like nighttime events. Um, educational things they have like trivia nights every week um they do outings i know there's like a new york trip every year stuff like that i didn't actually know about that stuff when i was a freshman and i really wish i did because that's a great way to get out of your dorm room meet some new people try some new things um and just like take advantage of what your school is offering you if they're giving you a free trivia night with like free snacks go trivia is fun who doesn't love trivia um definitely take advantage of all of that as long as you follow these groups on instagram they advertise them very well but only if you're looking for them like if 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 you could just keep your eyes closed the whole time you're not gonna find anything to do but just keep your eyes peeled if you live in a residence hall if you live on campus there will absolutely be flyers by the elevators or by the entrances of your um, residence hall. So make, just make sure you check those out and take advantage of all of the activities that the school offers. And so get involved in planning those if you want to. If you like the events, join Campus Activities Board. Join your residence hall government association and plan events for your floor or your dorm building. Get involved, man. My next thing I wish I knew is probably not so specific to Towson. Um, I'm sure other schools are like this as well, but midterm season is long. At least it can be long. Um, sometimes it will be like a week. Sometimes like one, once it was like a month and a half for me and I wanted to rip my hair out. Um, unlike finals, the university does not dictate when midterms need to start and end. Finals, it's like a whole different schedule. You have your classes at different times. It's like a whole different spiel. But midterms, it's up to your professors for when they want to give that to you, which means that some of them could happen at the end of February, which is really early. And some of them could happen at the end of April, which is really late. Most of them are probably going to be somewhere in March, right before spring break, right after spring break. But um, if your professor is like crazy, might get it really early or if they're crazy unorganized you might get it really late and that's stressful and there's nothing you can do about it you just have to suck it up and deal with it and just keep studying for that entire season and try to ace your your exams or your papers or projects or whatever you have to do for midterms and it'll honestly be different every single semester and let's just hope that you luck out with a short sweet easy midterm season every semester. My last thing that I wish I knew before coming to Towson is that West Village is hands down the best place to live and eat. Best place, very popular opinion. Most everybody agrees with me on this. Um, I actually lived in West Village for three years, all three years that I lived on campus and then I moved off campus. 
And oh my God, I am so glad I lived there. I was in the honors college when I joined Towson, or joined Towson, like it's a club. I was in the honors college when I came to Towson. Also side point, the honors college doesn't really matter. Anyways, um, and so the honors kids all get put in the same dorm. They get put in Douglas. It's not exclusively honors, but that's like where honors kids get put. And that's in West Village. Very nice dorm. So it's you and a roommate and you get a pretty big room and then you get your own full bathroom. And that is the key, like the bit, the only reason really I wanted to be in the honors college is so I could get the dorm that gave me my own bathroom because I was not about to have communal bathrooms or suite bathrooms or anything like that. So <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's you, your roommate, and then you have a full bathroom. It has, so your sink and your mirror are like outside of the bathroom. And then you have your toilet and a shower in your bathroom. That's actually very nice so that you can still be like getting ready, brushing your teeth. If someone else is, if your roommate's like in the shower. Um, you also have, they're also pretty new. They're not the newest buildings anymore, but they're pretty new. The newest buildings are actually still in West Village. It's Carroll and Marshall, which are on campus apartments. Very nice, very expensive, but very nice. And then West Village Dining Hall is the best dining hall. Sometimes I think it's Noel, but then I go back to West Village and I'm like, yeah, this is it. And then there's West Village Commons, which is pretty big. It's a very beautiful building, very great study spot, if, especially if you go up to like the third of the fourth floor and sit near the windows. Very pretty. But there's also a lot of like club meetings, activities, sorority recruitment happens in West Village, at least until the union is finished renovating. So a lot of things happen in the West Village Commons or the lawn in front of the Commons. And so it's a great place to be if you'd like to be in the middle of everything. Now, that being said, it is like its own little area. So it's not as close to the academic buildings. Um, yeah, I lived in Douglas Hall and then I lived in Towson Run, which is on campus apartments. They were both really good. Very good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative for you. If you were coming to Towson, let me know in the comments. Um, if there was anything I didn't touch on that you have questions about, let me know as well. And let me know if I should do a video on just general advice for college freshmen for the start of your freshman year. That's something I'm thinking about as well. If you haven't liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this. Have a great day. Thank you.